Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Herbie and I'm going to be reading Super Sid the Silly Sausage Dog by Sam Lloyd for you today. Sid was a sausage dog who lived in the kennels on the edge of town. He lived there because he didn't have a nice owner to love and care for him like other dogs. Aww. Sid wanted a nice, kind owner more than anything, so he decided to find one for himself. First, Sid took a giant leap over the kennel wall to show what a good jumper he was. But he landed on top of Madame Murple's very fancy tea party. Silly Sid, screeched the ladies. Back to the kennels with you. Then Sid tried to show everyone what a good digger he was. But he dug up all Gardener Pete's prized vegetables. Silly Sid, growled Pete. Now I'll never win the best vegetable competition. Back to the kennels with you. I know, thought Sid. I'll show everyone what a good singer I am. That will cheer them up. He howled and howled as loud as his doggy lungs would let him. Oh, woo! But he woke the whole street. Silly Sid, they cried, throwing water at him. Go away! Poor Sid. Sad, wet, and lonely, he crept back to the kennels. Nobody wants me, he thought. I'll never find a proper home. The next morning, Sid was wakened by a very strange smell. He put his nose into the air, and without thinking, he followed the smell. Out the window, across the yard, over the wall, under the fence, through the garden, across the bird table, until at last he came to... A fire! Little Billy's dinner was on fire. Grandma had forgotten all about it. Oh! Sid jumped and down, up and down, and he sang and he woofed and he howled as loud as his little doggy lungs could. Until the firefighter came, and with a rush and a gush and a great big splash, he put the fire out. Clever, Sid, said Grandma. Brave, Sid, said the firefighter. Super, Sid, said the crowd. My, Sid, said little Billy. So Sid had found not one, but two of the nicest, kindest owners ever. That was a lovely story. Thank you so much for listening today.